Hi guys, I'm Ryan Smith. I'm the music director here at C3 Church in Sydney, Australia, and we're talking about the guitar parts off the album Saints. Today we're going to be talking about the title track, and uh, Saints is in the key of G, recorded key of G. There's several guitar parts going on on this record, but today we're just giving you the essentials, what we call the non-negotiables. Um, the rhythm parts for it, I'm using a fuzz pedal. Um, if you don't have a fuzz pedal, you'll need something that's uh, hard clipping, like a a bit more like a distortion pedal because I'm using bomb sounds. Um, if you don't have a synth player in your band um, or you're not playing to tracks, you'll certainly need to, um, you know, basically give a true representation of the song on the electric guitar. I'm using these five chords here. I'm also putting the octave on top. I go up to a B5 same way up on the seventh fret and I'm going down to uh, a low E with the open string and then the second frets of the A and D strings there. If you happen to have a second electric on you can do the same thing but your second electric guitarist can go up and do the same thing an octave higher on the 12th fret. So in the choruses and uh, the intro you're going to play it like this. Three, four... I'm purposefully making sure that there are no gaps between the chord changes and that pedal's going to create a whole lot of sustain. You'll notice the last chord I'm hitting is the four chord. It's a C, it goes nicely back to the G. If you can get that gliss going on with your left hand and keep it going until you're just in time to strike the G chord again when it comes around, that's going to create real authenticity. Um, the second electric guitarist, or maybe you've got a third electric guitarist, not sure, these days in churches there's lots of guitarists on stage. We're going to be using some delay and modulation on uh, a particular part that's going to be played over that. I'm fretting a G triad with my index and second finger here. What I do is I bar the third, second and first strings off the seventh fret here, and but I bring my second finger in to play the root note of the key we're in, which is a G. So you get a triad spelled D, G and B, the seventh and eighth frets up there. The part that we play over that rhythm section, rhythm guitar part, is... And that goes nicely over the chords. The notes are B, G, D, so we're playing the arpeggio downwards. We land on the ninth, which is an A, and we fret that with our pinky finger on the tenth fret of the B string. You repeat that, and then you, you actually only play half the triad on the third time round, which is the B to the G, and then you play the B again on the very last one, but your third finger goes down to play the sixth note of the, of the scale that we're in, resolving on the D, but the timing, you don't want to get confused on the timing there. First one, and the last one goes sure that D is just caught before the end of the bar. And uh, the only other thing worth noting is that that, a variation of that is played in the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus doesn't have any fuzz guitar parts going on or anything like that, but the two chord, up to the four chord, up to the six chord, up to the one chord, back to the two chord, up to the four chord, up to the sixth chord, resolving down on the five, which is a D, and then it comes into the chorus. Over that section, what we call the pre-chorus, you're doing a variation of that intro ostinato. So it's... You let it ring, goes up to the C, and then you hit it again halfway through. Two, three, and... and you basically hint back at that in the pre-chorus. The only other thing uh, to discuss would be this uh, one note of the key we're in, which is a G. Now, what I failed to do there is the back pickup, but if you're feeling warmed up enough, you can fret that G on the 12th fret of the third string, 
put a bit of delay. In this case, it's crotchet equals 90 beats per minute. And just palm mute it the whole way. And that creates a nice layer as well. And that's the guitar parts for Saints.